converting a wide data frame to a long data frame and a long data frame back to a wide data frame is an interesting concept it has a practical use case in most organizations in real world settings so let's first understand what converting a wide data frame what is a wide data frame first and what is a long data frame and how to make this conversion and what are the different use cases where you would need this now we know we have seen the titanic data frame let's have a look at it now here in this titanic data frame we are having a lot of features of individual passengers in various columns of this data frame this is called as wide data frame where you have multiple features in multiple columns in the same data frame now it is possible to convert this data frame to a long data frame where you have very few features a mandatory feature would be an id column let's say you have passenger id can be the id id column for this passenger id or the name both of this could be an id column because every row here corresponds to one single passenger right so id could be id must be one column then you also need to have a feature column and a value column so it, the long data after conversion it would look like so passenger id 1 feature name is survived and the value is 0 likewise that could be another entry passenger id 1 feature name is p class and value equal to 3 likewise you keep on arranging the values in this fashion along the rows at the end of the day you will have only three different columns it can be more columns also but three primary columns will be present this is a typical process of converting a wide data frame to a long data frame now why is this needed what is the use case for this now in most organizations in many organizations where you are having various different projects a typical project could be you have a visualization dashboard in software such as tableau or any other software you have a certain dashboard that your team has created and that dashboard reads data from a particular table and that table typically will have a long format why long format because say you have a dashboard that shows some sort of sales related information and this sales related information can come from data from various different sources when it is present in multiple different sources say you have a you have a screen you have a tableau screen here this tableau screen is pulling in data from a certain database centralized database it is pulling in this centralized database in turn is receiving data from multiple different sources there could be one database in one country over here another country another region for the company that is operating it is present in a different database so data from various different sources are being assembled into one single data table now the data present in various different data sources can be arranged in various different formats this table could be having 16 columns still containing the sales data this table could be having entirely different number of columns different formatting of data what you will typically do is you will convert all these tables into one single format so that if you are adding new data from multiple different sources all of them get converted to one single format because once you create your dashboard you would have created a code to read the data from this table this standardized format from this format only you are going to read in it is not wise to read the data directly from here directly from this contributing sources right this is going to create a mess because each of those individual data sources has their own format it's not going to work that way and typically this standardized source that you have here this is typically stored in a long format this is not exactly a rule this is a general standard practice that is followed so this is one use case another use case is say you are you are working in a data science team that team is running a lot of different data science projects and each of those projects is giving you prediction scores for various different objectives one project could be churn prediction another project could be demand prediction likewise every other project is going to give you some sort of a prediction score in a regular intervals and you need a way to have all the predictions that you are predicting from various different models into one standard data frame what companies do to handle that is they convert all these predictions into a standard long format that long format again will have an id which is typically the model id model id that is making the prediction you will have the feature the feature could be something like if it is a prediction score for churn the project name itself or if it is a demand prediction it could be the product item name and then you will have the value 
the various predictions that are coming out of the different models. You might also additionally have columns that contain date, update date, these kind of additional columns could also be present. So this is another use case. So all this is just for additional knowledge of why you need this sort of a mechanism. So what we are going to do here is we are going to convert this wide format to a long format. So we have this data frame. Let's do the wide to long conversion. You can do that using the melt function in pandas. Let me run this and I will explain what is happening. So what you need to mention here is inside melt. Since this is a function that is coming directly from pandas, you need to definitely mention what is the data frame on which you want to melt. Then you need to specify what is the ID where's. This is typically one variable. If you need more than one variable to recognize one single entity in your data frame. For example, in this Titanic data frame, just the passenger ID is enough. But in certain other data frames, you need to come up with the primary key. Primary key means every row in your data frame is unique at that primary key. So here, just passenger name is enough, but passenger name and the name here, this itself, represent one unique entity. So it's optional for me to enter either passenger ID or the name or both is also fine. Next, you need to mention all the variables that you want to have stored into this particular long format of the data. Here, I'm just mentioning two of the columns that are present here. You can, in fact, enter in all the columns present in your data frame as well. So the output, you will definitely have the IDs coming first, then the variable name. This variable name will contain all the values from here and the value of the variable are the respective variable names. So that's how you do the conversion. You can convert it back to wide format. You can convert this long data frame to a wide format using pd.pivot. Just mention the index, columns and values. Then optionally, you can also do a reset index and make those into columns as well. So that's how you convert a wide data frame to a long data frame and back again.